David Ken with another question from the Question Bank from topic 9.5 Doppler effect. We've got a tricky multi-question, multi-choice question here for you. We have a, a source producing sound waves with frequency f, and it's moving along the straight line as shown below. So it's going that way to the right. Uh, which observer, observer one, two, three, or four, could hear a sound of frequency f when the source is in the position shown? Uh, so frequency f is the same as the frequency that the source emits. So there's no shift. Uh, well, what that means is that we can eliminate 1 and 4 as possibilities. Because we know that since the source is moving in a straight line and that source 1 and 4 are on that line, 4 is going to be experiencing a, uh, a blue shift or a higher frequency shift, and 1 is going to be experiencing a red shift or a lower frequency shift. And that's going to be true until the source reaches uh, observer 4. But then the question is, which of these two could experience frequency f? Well, to answer that question, we need to recognize that the way you would experience no Doppler shift is if the source is not moving towards or away from you. If the source is moving tangentially to you, then there is no change in the wavelength of the wave that you receive. Well, looking at the graph, we see that the source is moving away from observer 2 and moving towards observer 3. So you would at first think that they should both experience a small amount of, of Doppler shift. But let's look a little deeper and recognize that the waves that are reaching uh, observer 2 and observer 3 were emitted in the past. At the moment, the source is right between them, but because the waves have a finite speed in space, the waves that observer 2 and 3 are hearing are waves that the source emitted before, before it was in this space. So the source was maybe somewhere over here when the wave that observer 2 is now hearing reaches observer 2. And so that means that the waves that Observer 2 is listening to at the moment were emitted when the source was moving tangentially to uh, its position. So it's Observer 2 who could hear a frequency f. Now there's nothing in the question that indicates that the source must have been here, but the question says who could have heard it. And that's not going to be the case for Observer 3. So the answer must be Observer 2.